Hey guys, it's Tiffany and I hope you guys are excited for today's video because it is another Aritzia fall try on and there's going to be a bit of everything in this one including some vegan leather pieces which I know you guys love and a bunch of other goodies thrown in as well. So remember to give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already of course. So yeah, let's begin. The top I have on today is a really cute one. It has these sheer flowy sleeves that gives it a kind of romantic look and really good for the fall winter months for a bit of coverage since it is getting cooler now. It also has a fitted bodice and a scoop neckline. It zips open on the side so it's easy to put on with this stretchy elasticated back. I took this in my usual size, which is in a double extra small, and I will say it is quite fitted in the chest area, so if you're bigger busted, you might want to consider sizing up. Material-wise, I would have liked to see the sleeves in a nicer, maybe chiffon instead of the polyester it's made from, but I do like this top overall, and I really like the idea of it tucked into a pair of high-waisted pants. Speaking of high-waisted pants, these are the Rebel Pant in their signature vegan leather and I wanted to give these a try because a lot of you guys have asked what I thought about them and how they compare to the original Molinas. So personally, this style isn't really for me. There's just a lot going on with the top stitching detail which can be a pro or con depending on what you're looking for but I figured I'd give them a try anyway. I don't dislike them, but I just don't know if I love them for me personally. These are higher waisted than the original Molina pants and like I mentioned, it has stitching detail throughout and it does make the booty look pretty good because of that detail. In terms of sizing, I got these in a double zero, which is my usual size and they fit really well in the waist and down the leg as well. But the short little while when I was trying these on, I can already feel them stretching out a little bit, especially around the crotch area. So I do think these will stretch a bit over time. So if you're between sizes, then you can try sizing down in these. Otherwise, just take your true to size. These are another pair of vegan leather pants, which is new this season. They're a mid-rise trouser style with pleats down the front. They're really comfortable and would look really good with a looser top tucked in. There's also a lot more room around the hips because of the pleating, so great for anyone with a bit of curves. But for my frame, it just felt like it added a lot of volume in areas that I didn't necessarily want them. And also, I'm not really a fan of mid-rise pants in general, so I didn't keep these ones. I also tried another pair of trousers. These are the Vogue pant, which fits very similar to the full leather pants I just showed you. These are also mid-rise with pleating down the front and slightly tapered at the leg. This one is 95% wool, so if you're looking for just a basic trouser with slightly more room around the hip area, then you can check these ones out. Now the top I'm wearing with these is the Tuscany top and I actually bought this last year and it's just a really simple long sleeve knit that's not too thin or too thick, just a really good top for this time of year. It also sort of reminds me of the Kate Matty top which I have my eye on but at a more affordable price point. This comes in a lot of colors so a basic in my wardrobe. I'm going to show you two pairs of Molina pants today and the first ones are these ones here in a cotton material. We're all probably familiar with the faux leather version by now so if you're looking for a more detailed size guide on them then make sure to watch that video and I'll link it below. I got this pair in the black color which is like a washed vintage black so more like an off black and you guys these are so comfortable. They feel like jeans but in a soft stretchy material. They're in the regular length and meant to hit the ground, but it's still on the longer side for me. I'd have to take them up a bit, but I do also have my eye on the birch color because I think they'd be amazing for the spring. These ones here are the beloved Melina vegan leather pants, but in the newly released super high rise version. I got them in the short length and it hits at the ankle, which I really like. I had really high hopes for this pair, but it didn't work out for me because of the waist gap. It doesn't fit me as well as some of the higher rise vegan pants like the Rebel or the Funk pants. So a little disappointed because I am looking for a higher rise pant with the same kind of straight leg silhouette as the Melinas. So if you guys don't typically have a waist gap issue or you're okay with altering them then check these out if you're also looking for something super high rise which would look so cute with crop tops or knit bralettes. This is one of my favorite pieces from this try on haul and I'll probably get this in another color as well. 
This is a long sleeve sweater dress with a mock neck and a thigh slit. I was worried this was going to look a little frumpy on me and would fit too oversized on my frame, but I think it's just the perfect lightweight and casual dress when you want it to be. And then throwing on a pair of knee high boots really just elevate the look. You can also belt this if you want to show off your figure, but I just love the effortlessness of how this drapes and with that thigh slit, it's just perfect and I have no other words to describe it. You can style this with a biker jacket for casual days, but I love wearing this with a long coat and creates such a good look for fall and winter. Okay, back to the vegan leather. This is another must-have in your wardrobe. The fit of this is unreal, you guys. It is an A-line miniskirt, and I shied away from miniskirts for a while, but I'm kind of loving them again, and finding different ways to style them is also kind of fun. You guys already know Aritzia really does one of the best faux leather pieces in the market right now and it's just so buttery soft and smooth and this one is no different. I love this one and will be getting this in different colors. Getting into some shackets now, I have a few to show you starting with the Ghana style which has been around for many years. I never really tried this one because I always knew the sleeves were going to be too long on me but I did want to try anyway and I will say I, I do like it. This is in their regular length and I noticed they have a short version as well but they didn't have it in black so I might have to try it and see if the proportions are better on that one but I do like the length of the body from the regular version. It's such a classic piece and super easy to just throw on once the weather gets a little cooler. It is 100% wool so it'll keep you warm and it's not heavy either. It's actually quite light. The next two are both in the Pelly shirt jacket style. This one here is in this really amazing dark camel color and such fall vibes. Unlike the Ghana, this one is only 20% wool, so it won't be as warm and it is also a little thinner and more shirt-like, but definitely still in the shacket category. It also has a straighter hemline, whereas the Ghana is noticeably more rounded. I do love the tortoise button detail on this one and I'd say it's worth checking out. This is also in the Pelly style and exactly the same as the other one I showed you, except this version is 100% wool. I found overall the Pelly style gave me a slightly boxier fit than the Ghana did, so depending on your frame, one might be more flattering on you over the other, so you'll have to try them out and let me know if you pick up any of these pieces. The last jacket I want to show you today is this belted one in a lovely burnt cedar color. This one is 72% wool and again has an oversized fit. It also has snap button closures so it makes it really easy to put on and off. I particularly like this one when it's tied because it gives a different look to it overall. It cinches you in but also looks kind of relaxed but still structured. However, I don't love the look of it when it's open and the belt straps are just kind of dangling or even if it's tied to the back. So I didn't keep this one just because it wasn't versatile enough for me and how I would personally wear it, but you guys can still check it out and I just can't get over how rich and beautiful this color is. Last piece in this video is another must have. This is the first knitwear piece I'm adding to my wardrobe this year. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing a specific Aritzia knitwear try on and I can maybe film that for you guys and show you what my picks would be for the season. So give this video a like, leave a comment and make sure you are subscribed. Anyway, this one here is a boxy fit, slightly cropped with a V-neck balloon sleeves and in a wool blend. It's actually 95% wool and the quality of this cardigan is really nice, especially for the price. When I purchase knitwear, I have a rule that I try to follow, which is to only get things that are made up of at least 50% natural fibers like wool, cashmere, or cotton, and this one fits the bill. It's also super soft, not itchy at all for me at least, and I also love this one because it has a lighter thread throughout creating this kind of subtle speckled look, which I'm all for. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know which pieces were your favorites and also let me know in the comments below what other kind of videos or content you wanna see more of on this channel. And yeah, I think that's it. So I'll see you next time, bye.